Well, if you got this Honeywell thermostat that's programmable, this is the uh, Honeywell it is the uh, RTH2300B. And this is a programmable thermostat. And sometimes what happens with these is that if the battery died out or, or you move to an apartment, new house, and you don't have the instructions how to, how to use it, how to program it, this thing will kick on and off at, at certain times and you have a hard time trying to program it. Well, you can use this thermostat without the, the, the program, just, just as a regular thermostat. I'm going to show you how. But I will link the instructions to, to the description of this video. So if you want to download the instructions to learn how to program it, you can do that too. But I'm going to show you how to use this thermostat. I'm also, gonna, I'm also going to tell you why your unit may not be turning on right now. So this room right now is at 99 degrees. So it's hot in here. Now let's say I want to turn on the, uh, the AC. Of course, this is not connected to anything, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's the same thing. So I turn on the AC. As you can see, it says cool on. So the AC is on. It, it says sleep. So this is still in a program mode. So it's, it's going to go through its different cycles at different times of the day. I don't want to deal with put, setting the time or anything like that. Obviously, right now, it's, it's not even that time. It's, uh, it's almost 740. So I didn't even set the time on this. So if I just wanted to use this thermostat as a regular thermostat, I, all I got to do is just press the hold for a few seconds. Oh, sorry. It's it's on. It's on this side. So once that hold is on, once the hold is on, let's say I set it at seventy-five. It's gonna be it's gonna be turning on and off at seventy-five. That's normal. That, that's just gonna run as a normal thermostat. It, it came back to the ther uh, temperature it's at right now. If I want to check, you know, I, I have it set at seventy-five. So it'll hit target. It'll, it'll shut off normal. As long as, it's, as it says hold on this side, the thermostat is running normal. It's not gonna shut off and on. It's just gonna shut off when it hits target. 75. That's all it's going to do. Now, one thing that may be happening to you if you're struggling with one of these is, let's say the battery ran out or you took it off to see it or you've been messing with it because you can't get it to run and you turned it off. All right. So I, I turned it off and now I want to turn it on. I want the AC to kick back on and you turn it on and, and it's, it's not kicking on. It's still on hold. So you know it's, it's still, it should turn on. What, happen, what happens here is, you see this where it says cool on, that it's blinking? What happens is it's protecting the compressor. The compressor doesn't want to short cycle. It doesn't want to turn on and off every minute because that could damage your compressor. So the thermostat is actually protecting your compressor. You're going to have to wait about five minutes. Don't mess with it. Leave it on. The, if you take, take it off and take the batteries off, it's going to reset the five minutes. So don't, don't mess with it. Just, just let it sit there and, and wait till this stops blinking. Once this stops blinking, then your, your AC should, should turn on. So that, that's all there is to it. Just put it on hold. You, as long as you, you press that button, it'll stay on hold. If you want to take the hold off, all you got to do is just, just put it back on run, and then it's back to the programs. But as, as long as it's on hold, it's going to run, run as a normal thermostat. And like I said, if your, thermos, if your heater or your AC is not turning on right now, it's just because this is blinking, and it's just protecting the unit. Give it a few minutes. It'll turn on, and hope this video helps somebody out.